Over the past few years, the British Broadcasting Corporation has been working with several tech companies like Microsoft, NXP, and Nordic Semiconductor to produce the Microbit. This is a microcontroller-based development platform intended to teach grade school students about programming and electronics. However, it is packed with features and sensors that should appeal to even the most hardcore embedded engineers. The brains of the Microbit is a Nordic NRF51822, which contains a 32-bit ARM Cortex-M0 running at 16 MHz, with 256 kilobytes of flash memory and 16 kilobytes of RAM. It also has a built-in Bluetooth low-energy radio. The board has a three-axis accelerometer to detect bumps and orientation, as well as a magnetometer that can be used as a compass. Finally, you'll find a USB port for powering and programming the microbit, along with a JST connector for plugging in a two AA or AAA battery pack. Note that connecting a LiPo battery directly may damage the microbit. On the front of the microbit, you'll see a couple of buttons and a 5x5 LED array for displaying words, shapes, and simple graphics. Interestingly, the LED array can also be configured to detect ambient light levels. At the bottom, you'll also see an edge connector with five large traces. These large traces accept alligator clips so you can connect lights, speakers, motors, and other electronics without soldering or the need for a breadboard. You can even use these pins to make simple fruit-based instruments. While you can make a lot of things with just the microbit, SparkFun has created a number of boards and kits designed to help you take your microbit projects to the next level. SparkFun's microbit breakout board can be used to break out the microbit's 19 GPIO pins on the edge connector to a breadboard or connected to other electronics. Just note that many of the pins are shared with other functions on the microbit, like the buttons or the LEDs. The weather bit contains sensors for barometric pressure, humidity, and temperature along with connectors for optional wind speed, wind direction, rain gauge, and soil moisture sensors. With these, you can create a fully functioning weather station around your microbit. The Moto bit is another connector board that makes building a robot much easier with the microbit. It can control up to two motors and a couple of servos, and it has ports for analog and digital sensors along with a power jack for connecting more powerful batteries or wall adapters. The Gamer Bit is fashioned after an old school Nintendo controller and, when combined with the Microbit, creates a handheld gaming system. The different bits can be combined to create some really fun projects. For example, I've combined the Gamer Bit with the Microbit to create a remote control for a MotoBit based robot. One of the best features of the Microbit is the ability to code in a variety of languages. This includes C, MicroPython, JavaScript, and Microsoft's Make Code Block Editor. If you're interested in getting started with the Microbit and how to program with a block editor, check out my Microbit video series. Happy hacking! Features of the Microbit is the ability to. Check out my block based stomping something Microbit thing! All right, here we go. I don't remember anything. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>